All right, Knights of Apollo. Hope you guys are doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome back to Foundation. Now, I played this game about a year ago. I did a very short series on it, and, you know, obviously they've been updating it, and I'm really excited to see what's different about it and what kind of city we can build. So, yeah, in case you didn't know, this is a medieval city building game. It's super chill. It's super re relaxing and it's really creative. You can create some really interesting and customize like some really interesting buildings. So I'm really excited about this. I do have a little bit of a city builder fever going on right now where I just want to play a lot of city builders. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited to, to come back and start a new city. Also guys, I'm really excited for Manor Lords, which is a new medieval city building game that has massive battles in it or big battles in it. So so I'm really excited about that. Um, so yeah, let's jump in here and get this one started. By the way, like I said, this is going to be super chill, a very relaxed playthrough because uh, I myself uh, deal with stress and anxiety. And oftentimes when I want relief or a break from the, <laughs> from the anxiety, I often will put on a very chill playthrough of someone playing a game in a very, you know, it's a chill game. It's relaxing. And I want that to be, I want this to be that for you guys where you can get on maybe a long day of work you can put it on in the background you can put it on while you're you know about to fall asleep or maybe you're just sitting and watching every bit of it which is awesome too so uh, let's begin shall we welcome to our grand city of Apollo Nia so uh, I think our last city in this playthrough was called Apollo Nia but whatever, this is the real Apollonia. Apollonia. This is a very beautiful... I know it's not much, and there's no city yet, but it will become a grand medieval city. And I love this area. It's a nice little valley here. You've got the nice side uh, mountains, which will give it some protection. Maybe we can put a castle up here or some walls. And it's going to be it's gonna be a very beautiful city, so I'm excited about that. Uh, so yeah, let's jump in, and the first thing I think we have to do, I, th I think there's some, like, beginning quests for us, uh, but we need to go ahead and buy our first plot of land. Uh, I don't know if you could tell, but I've been eyeing this, this section here, so we're going to go ahead and buy that. It's got everything we need. I want to start kind of up on this hill, and then kind of work downwards. And then maybe eventually when we get some cool castles and stuff, we can, uh, you know, buy the land over here. And also there's new mining mechanics, which I think we can mine this uh, little uh, mountainside, which will be really awesome. So let's, uh, let's jump in. The first thing we need to do is build a village center. So obviously we're going to put this right in the middle or maybe a little bit lower here and start construction. And here is the brave pioneers that are going to be uh, building our fur our our Apollonia. These are the 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 the, the founders right here. Lots of women. <laughs> Lots of women. One guy that's pretty funny. It's random, but uh, very cool. These women are just brave pioneers who couldn't take the uh, the overcrowded cities elsewhere, so they wanted to start new. All right, so we've got our, our um, village center. The first thing we need to do is build the builder's workshop. Basically, this is where I believe like workers will go to get equipment and stuff. So let's just do that right in the center. We'll go ahead and have it face this way. And we need to build the... Obviously, we need to get the, the, the bare necessities, right? Wood, stone, food. So, let's start with wood. And I think, yeah, that's what the uh, quest wants us to do. We'll build a lumber camp all the way back here. Um, well, let's see. Where should... I guess, yeah, this will be a good spot. I didn't want it too close to the stone here. I don't want it too close to the berries where we're going to have to gather. We could put it here... But mm, I might make this a residential area. So we're just going to have to kind of squeeze everything in here. So let's build the lumber camp right there. And to get that started, we're going to have to assign some people. So let's go to our villa villager list. Here's Carl, who <laughs> is the only male. We'll go ahead and, and make him a builder. So he can get building um, pretty soon. And I think he just, there he goes, there he goes. I was like, what are you doing, Carl? Come on, Carl, get your equipment. See, he's like looking at the blueprints. He's like, okay, mm, we gotta build this, uh, this, this, uh, what is, what do we even build a lumber camp? That's, that's what we're building. All right, so he's going to build that, so that's good. Uh, in the meantime, 
We might want to assign another builder because we do want to start collecting some stone. So let's get a stone cutting camp. And we'll put that right here. And we'll go ahead and assign another builder. So we'll have two builders. And we'll go ahead and assign a woodcutter. And we'll get a miner. So that should be it for in terms of like employment for these certain locations. Uh, we now need to do food. So let's go ahead and build a, I believe it is a um, gathering hut. And we'll make sure that it's facing towards the town center. We'll put it right there. Start construction. Now here's the thing. The workers aren't going to start working until we tell them to. Or we, we tell them it's okay to get certain items. Like it's okay to chop down the trees. So we're going to put a new zone here. Extraction zone. So we're going to just take out all these trees. And that should be good for now. Um, we should also do this as well. We might as well do all of this because we also need to extract the berries and the stone. So let's make sure we got that all covered. So there we go. That looks pretty good. So that's the extraction. Um, now we need to hire some gatherers. So let's get a, a forager. So we'll go ahead and get those berries. And I think we're looking pretty good. Um, the builders are still building here, which is fine. Don't want to—you don't want to rush it too much. We'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit too, but we don't want to rush it and build too many, like too many buildings at once. We want a nice, stable foundation. And I know that's the name of the game, but you get what I'm saying. We need—we need a nice foundation for Apollonia. Which, by the way, we need to name Apollonia. Which I think you can. Yeah, here we go. You can rename it Apollo Nia, which of course is the Rome 2, Rome 2 uh, settlement uh, or city when you play Rome 2. I think Epirus controls it. So very cool. And we can go ahead and get rid of that screen. So now we've got everything that, in terms of the basics that we need. We've got our food, we've got our wood, and soon we will have our stone. So I might, we've got some extra workers. I might go ahead and assign extra workers towards each one. So two builders, two wood cutters, and let's get two foragers and two miners. And everybody will have a job. Sweet. So that's looking really good. What's our quest here? So our quest is to build a granary, assign a new transporter, and assign uh, the berries to the granary. Okay. So we need a granary so we can store the food. So let's go ahead and get that going. And um, let's see, let's gotta find a good spot for it. Now we don't want it. We could put it right here. That's actually a pretty good, pretty decent spot. Now is this? I never know the correct way. I guess this would be the right way. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. But we'll start construction there. By the way, the granary requires stone and wood. Which, hopefully, we are collecting enough stone. I thought we had two miners. Did we not? Where? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, okay. I guess maybe because... That's the other thing. Is like, once you max out in terms of the amount of resources collected... That's why it's important to have, like, a warehouse or a granary. So they can keep working and storing food. Because if you get to, like, a certain amount, they will stop collecting. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be mistaken. But uh, I think I think that's how that works. So here we go. We're building our granary. It's very close to done. They just got to keep gathering the resources. And yeah, see the builders are bringing over their crates of supplies. And it is uh, getting very close to being finished. Got Carl hard at work. All right, the granary is complete. So uh, we're actually gonna have to change one of our workers here now who should we change um let's how are we doing on wood we're doing pretty good on wood so maybe we just need one wood cutter we're gonna transfer you to a transporter which transports uh transports resources to the warehouse so we we need you to do that uh which of course will take the berries and put it in the granary and then we need to assign a spot for the berries there you have it the berries are now being stored. We got 100 gold for completing that quest. And now we need to build a well. 
a market and assign a market tender. Okay, so we're going to have to reassign another villager here. Unless we get some new villagers. I don't think we are. At least not yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and build our well. Now we want the well to try to reach everybody. Uh, you know what? I think a well would be pretty sweet right at this crossroad. And that's the other thing. I'm going to really take my time and make this village as nice looking as possible. Now, obviously, we're at the very early stages. And it's, a, it's I mean, it's looking like a village, I guess. But, uh, you know, once we unlock cooler items and buildings, I'm going to reorganize the city and make it look like a proper medieval city. So, there we go. The well is um, being produced or created. Now we need to build the market, which I'm going to build the market right in the town center. So I think we have to go to, yeah, here we go, market. We'll put this right here. And we have to we have to design it a little bit, which I love. You can customize these buildings. That's what I love about this game. Like, compared to other city building games, uh, you just put down a building. In this one, you can customize and, and change how you want the structures to look. So we'll put the market there, and we'll do a red tent. Uh, it also increases splendor, so there's certain things that you can build that will improve splendor, basically how nice a town looks. So let's build the market and start construction. I always find it really funny that um, we're building a market already so soon, where you have these brave, hardworking pioneers, and someone's like, hey, I'll run a market. What? <laughs> you should be out there doing hard labor. We don't have the luxury yet to have a market. Uh, but no, someone is going to be it. And who is that person going to be? Um, well, I think forager. Maybe we have enough foragers. So we could change. I see. I don't like changing people's jobs too much because they, they level up. Um, so let's change one of the foragers to be a market tender. And they are going to work the market. And we will soon be producing funds because we're going to tax the income that the market makes and you can see the market's ready they're still building the tent and there you go um and once let's see can we i think we have to now assign berries there we go yep assign the berries boom another quest done and we got another hundred gold uh we max out at 500 gold but we can increase that as our city expands so, what is our um, our next quest here? If we look at the logs, Let's see. quest completed. Fill the needs of your newcomers. Oh, okay. I guess we're getting some newcomers. So yeah, a jo uh, assign a job to all your villagers. Raise the happiness of your village to a hundred. Right now we're at sixty-nine. Now it's seventy-five. People are happy. There's abundant resources. They've got food. Yes, everybody's eating berries every day, uh, but uh, it's food, and it's you know that's part of the pioneer life. You just got to get by. So um, this shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too difficult. We just gotta wait for some more um, more people to show up. So increasing your population by maxing immigration probability. Two people are passing by. Two decided to join your village. Awesome. So I think if you look all the way over here, I don't know, but you will eventually see the new villagers show up and they'll form like a little road leading to your village. But yeah, here's a Polonia. It's a, uh, it's a very humble beginnings, but we have the necessities. We have, you know, the bare necessities and pretty soon we're going to be looking pretty good. The builders are taking a little break, having a little downtime as we're not building anything. I wonder if we could build anything like decor, a wooden bridge, a market. Nope. Oh, hey, there's the new workers. Perfect. Where are they going? Getting some water? Buying some berries? Hey, a message from the kingdom. The kingdom recognizes your efforts in establishing your settlement. Uh, we are officially a settlement. All right, let's slow down the time here a little bit. And let's go ahead and assign our new workers. Um, I guess we can get another forager because we took that away and then i guess we'll get another woodcutter to just keep up those resources because we are about to build here so our next quest here is to build a lord manor so to do that we need to go here and i want hmm, where should we put this lord manor i would like to put it here 
because it's the highest point of this territory. But this is some good trees here that we don't want to get rid of. We're going to put the Lord Manor over here, kind of looking over the, uh, the village. So we'll put that here. And this is the fun part. This is where, look, you can do some decorations. Now, it does cost more when you do dot decorations. So that might be something we do a little bit later. Uh, but for now, we just want to put the basics down. We'll put it, uh, we'll put it like so. Okay, and then we obviously want an entrance to the Lord Manor. And that's, that's, that's good enough for me. I mean, I guess we, we could add other structures, but like planks, we don't even have planks yet. So we're just going to keep it simple, keep it humble, and we will improve the village as we go on. Uh, I think we also need to... Um, let's see, build a Lord Manor, assign a Great Hall function to a Lord Manor room. At the end of the month, promote a villager to a serf. Okay, that's good and dandy, but I think we need to build a residential area. Um, so let's do that here. So the residential zone will be right below the Lord's Manor. So let's put it... Put the residential right here. I think that's a good residential area. And I guess since it's the Lord's, well, no. I was going to say Forbidden Land, but <laughs> I don't think we have to do that. Because if you make this area forbidden, even the builders won't go over there to build the Lord's Manor. So we can't, we obviously don't want to do that. So we are building our houses here. It's looking really good. Uh, unlock the warehouse from the labor estate panel. Okay. So we have to unlock the warehouse from the labor estate panel. I'm not quite sure how to do that. Uh, I think we'll we'll eventually do that. Maybe we need the Lord's Manor built first. But so far, resources are going well. Stone is high. That was my biggest concern is stone. Because uh, everything uses it. Everything uses wood too. But wood seems fairly fairly easy to, to get. Uh, we are starting to make a little dent into the forest here. As you can see, less and less trees. But we can always eventually get a forester. Uh, I assume, are the builders building this, or, here, we'll speed this up now. Let's, let's just get this, um, this Lord's Manor complete first. Yeah, see, the builders are building people's homes. So they're building multiple, multiple things. Now, obviously, we need homes, and there we go. First one complete. That should help our, our happiness. Oh, for, two people passed by our village and none of them wanted to join us. <laughs> oh, man. Now, can't you set it so a certain building has priority? Priority. Yeah. So, let's do that. Hey, can you build the Lord's Manor first? Before you start building people's homes? I get it. I get it. You want to make sure they have shelter. But this is looking nice. I mean, I think we're... We're getting a nice uh, village going. We got multiple houses here. We need to keep building those houses, though. We might, hopefully, we can expand. I think my next territory is going to be right here because we have more food and stone that I want to take advantage of. And we're making good money from the villagers. Uh, no new villagers yet. Happiness went up a bunch because of the new residential buildings. Which is good. You want to make sure everybody has a space to live. We can also, in the meantime, build a... We can build a rustic church, which will help with happiness as well. Uh, is there a problem with this uh, house here? Oh, we need planks. Ah, no wonder the builders aren't building. Okay. Well, that's going to be a problem. We're, what we're going to have to do is build a sawmill... So let's go ahead and go to here and it's a sawmill and this will turn wood uh, basically logs into planks so we'll put that since it relates to the woodcutters here we'll put that right next to it and we'll put it right on the hillside here and we will prioritize pri <laughs> we will prioritize that building there let the builders build their homes. 
Yeah, we're still waiting for new people to join us, guys. Um, let's see. What are we doing really well with? I feel like food is is not going to be a problem. Like, I feel like, like so far, the berry forgers... So, basically, what I'm saying is we need someone to work the sawmill. So, I might have to transfer one of my workers over to do that. And I definitely think the forger uh, position can be lightened a little bit. Kind of, you know, our resource management here. Because our stone workers are doing good, but not amazing. The wood, the woodcutter camp. I don't know, we might have to get some more woodcutters, too. But let's speed this up a little bit as we wait for the sawmill to be completed. And then hopefully we can complete the, uh, the manor, the, the Lord's Manor. As that is really important. So just getting some nice shots here of the village. As it's uh, really all coming together. But I can definitely feel the... Crampness, the the overcrowding in this one area. Uh, we could build something behind here. Um, we could even shift over our buildings, like build another sawmill, because there is a way to destroy. Yeah, there is a way. Okay. So I might move the lumber camp back over here, but that's okay. I think we're good for now. So let's go ahead and this is kind of a funny looking uh, sawmill because of the terrain. Uh, let's go ahead and assign a villager, but we're going to have to go and let's get rid of one of the foragers. Let's see, level two. I guess we'll change you, William, to be a carpenter. And we will now start producing wood planks, which we desperately need to build this Lord's Manor. There we go. Planks are underway, and the builders are going to be going back to uh, finish up the Lord's Manor, which is good to see, as it's still got it's still got some time. It's still it's not even halfway built, but uh, we got workers bringing over planks. They can only bring two at a time, but that's that's good enough. There we go. Oh yeah. It's getting together nicely. William, working hard. The other male. How many males do we have here? I think it's just two males. Hey, two people pass by, two people want to join. How about that? So our city is growing, which is good because we have some positions that need to be filled. Uh, we probably should reassign another forager and probably get another carpenter. So once those people uh, make it to the village, we're going to be able to assign them and uh, really get our economy going, really get our resources going. So we don't have any delays like we're having with the uh, the manor, the Lord uh, Manor, which we need two more planks. Two more planks, and it is complete, which I believe the planks are being made. There it goes. Come on, builders. Get the planks. There you go. And see, we need a warehouse so they don't have to directly go to the carpenter to get these planks. And we'll be able to store the planks in the warehouse. Oh, what? Oh, two more. Two more. That's right. All right. It looks like Carl. Carl! He's going to finish the, uh, the Lord's Manor. And... Complete. Awesome. So, we need to assign a great hall function to the Lord's Manor room. Um, so a great hall. Yeah, let's upgrade this room the function of great hall um, Allows you to promote villagers to higher statuses Additional maintenance costs six gold. Okay, that's fine. So it costs six gold to maintain so That's fine by me and we have upgraded it to a great hall and at the end of the month promote a villager to surf so It, it kind of is the end of the month, but I guess let's see. 
We have some new workers. You know what I might do? I may, I might make Carl a serf. Or should we? See, I don't know how that works. Because, like, when we have a serf, they gotta be good at something, right? I don't know. Because, like, Carl's already a level 3 builder. Oh, hey, more people. Okay. okay. How exactly do we... How exactly do we upgrade someone to a serf? I don't know. Maybe the option will be there. We'll worry about it a little bit later. For now, we got some workers that aren't working. So let's get another forger. And let's get another... We could get a forester. We don't have we don't have that one built yet. We probably should get a forester to plant more trees. Um, but that's okay. We don't need that right now. So we have our forger. I guess we could get another woodcutter. And there we go. Two more two more people have arrived to our village. Um, what should we build? What should we have them do? I mean, I guess we can get another miner and maybe we should we should build a forestry setup thing. Can we though? I don't know if we unlocked it yet. Lumber camp. No, I don't think we have. We could always assign another builder. Oh, hey. Oh, okay. This is how you unlock. So I just figured it out. <laughs> you can unlock the uh, warehouse using Splendor. Uh, so let's unlock the warehouse. We can also unlock the bailiff's office. Okay, cool. So the warehouse is now available. I'm actually going to put the warehouse by the Lord's Manor so he can kind of maintain it. So let's build that back here. And we'll have it face... Or should we put it near the... Mm. Yeah, we'll put it back. It, this is obviously a place you want to keep it safe, you know? So... Can we really build it there? What? That doesn't make any sense. I was like, can we actually put it there? No, we're going to put it back here a little bit. There we go. So the builders will be hard at work. And tons of people are joining us. This is great. A little over... It's getting a little overwhelming. We might want to slow it down here a little bit. As I try to figure out how to make someone a, a surf. Which I don't know where that option is. See status. So we got another unemployed. Let's get another carpenter. That's what we wanted. So we can produce more uh, planks. Very nice. So we're gonna be able to store all these all these good things. Most of the trees have been cleared out over here. I'm thinking about repositioning. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna move this. So let me build a new one. So let's build a. Uh, lumber camp. We'll put it right back here. And we are going to destroy this one as soon as this one's built. So once that's done, we're going to be looking good. And I think I'm going to leave this open. Uh, and I'll have the forester replant over here. This will kind of be the forester area. Where we won't build, we won't, you know, remove these trees permanently. It'll just be a nice area to uh, get our, our trees and stuff. So unlock a trade route to get tools. Oh yes, the trade route. So unlock trade route for 20 planks. Okay. So to get a trade route, we need 20 planks, which we just got. So we'll go ahead and unlock that trade route. Unlock a trade route to get tools. One free territory. Nice. We got a free territory? Set up your first trade route. Okay. This is where uh, things get interesting. So we got to build a warehouse first. And I still don't know how to make someone a surf, which I need to look up probably or, or figure it out in the next episode. We're going to leave this person here unemployed because I'm sure we're going to need someone to work the trade. Um, so we'll do that later. But this village is coming along nicely. 
And is there a way to... I thought we could unlock another region. Alright, building complete lumber camp. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and destroy this. And they will now go to the new one. Which is a little bit closer to the tree line here. Which I think I'll build a forester over here as well. Once we unlock that, which we're still not quite there. Or forester camp. There we go. Let's get that forester camp. We'll have it uh, kind of in the back here. here. So, rotate it around. If I could. Have it facing that way. There we go. The warehouse is still not done. I'm going to make this a priority. Because uh, it needs to get done quickly. So we can set up our trade route and get more tools. Which are absolutely vital for uh, building. So it's something we got to keep up with. It's looking good so far. So I went ahead and s I'm going to go ahead and, s and speed up the time here so we can we can get um, this warehouse completed. Um, I wonder... Oh, oh, what's this? Carl? Okay, so I did some research and we, in the game, we should have an option to promote someone to a serf. So we just kind of have to wait for that option for now. So this little quest is just going to have to wait a little bit. And more and more people are joining our village. Uh, so we built our warehouse. And we need to assign tools to a warehouse and allow tool purchase from the trading panel. So let's go ahead and assign tools. So that means we're going to start to gather tools. And then I guess in the trade panel, we will put... I don't really know um, how much we should buy. But maybe five? We could possibly buy five? We'll, we'll stick with five for now. See, so buy. Let's put it on buy and then put it on five. There we go. There we go. So now we're buying tools. Five tools per, I don't know how often. So we could always sell the berries too. I don't know if they're buying berries. Oh, they are buying berries. So I think we have a surplus of berries, if I'm not mistaken. So we could also, um, I think we have to, let's see. Let's just make sure we do this right. I think we can go to trading and then sell. And we'll sell, uh, sell 10 berries. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that, that's how that works. <laughs> we'll see. Kind of have to relearn how to play. It's been such a long time. I kind of have to relearn it. Let's go ahead and assign some jobs here. So let's make him a new transporter. Well, so we'll assign him. Yeah. He should go. You should go work this warehouse. So sweet. That's looking pretty good. Now, I almost forgot. We need to build a church. A uh, church is really good for keeping people happy. So let's do a rustic church. And I kind of want it near the residential area. Oh, we're kind of running out of space here. 
Hmm. I don't really want it near industry. I kind of want it near this this residential area. So we could put it... Could we buy more land? I forgot how to buy land. There we go. Just like that. <laughs> so we bought more land. And right back here, it looks like a good area for a church. Right here. By the, we'll put it near the Lord's Manor too. So let's go here and build our church. Oh yeah. Nice. And it's just kind of overlooking... The residential area and we'll make it a nice humble church like so and then it needs an entrance and then it needs a bell tower um, we, do we want let's see which one's cheaper this one's a little cheaper it requires less it requires only 20 planks. This one requires 20 stone, 10 planks. We'll go with this one. This one has a little bit better splendor. Where would this look good? Maybe back here. Oh, yeah. Back there. Let's start construction. Go, builders. Go. And with that, we'll increase our residential area as well. So, let's increase the residential. Put it around here. Just to make sure there's more space for more homes. And there you have it. Now I'm curious, how much would this cost? 500 gold? Okay. So we should probably wait, because we got this territory for free. I would like this area to open up. I might make this area farmland. Uh, I've got my residential area kind of bleeding outward towards here. And then of course, when we I uh, need to build stone or get more stone and berries. Uh, we'll push out over here and build up some more industry. And how is the trading going? Let's let's see how that's going. Here, we got to exit out of there. So, nothing yet. I think I saw a trader, though, walking towards the warehouse. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Wants to buy berries. He bought some berries. And we made some gold from it. And did we also get some... Let's see. Did we get some tools? Is he about to drop off some tools here? Uh... No. He's just gonna walk away. <laughs> Where are you going? Um, I don't think we got any tools from him. Uh, he... Oh, he... wait, who's this? Oh, my lord, we need to choose who we want to help. I shall assist the king. Shall assist the clergy. Alright, um... We need to get fish. Deliver 20 fish in 60 days. I guess we'll assist the king. So we're going to need to do some trading here. That's cool. That's new. I don't remember that. So a message from the king. There we go. We don't need... Wait, 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 wait. How many transporters do we have? No, you... Let's have you be a... What do we need? What are we kind of behind on? Uh, we could need... We need more woodcutters. Um, you, sir, let Grace be a transporter for this building. I want you... Yeah, there you go. To be a transporter for the warehouse. And then we have Gunther over here. Which he doesn't have a job. Um, Gunther, Gunther, Gunther. Let's see, what could we do? Market a miner? We could always use more mines. Or what about a carpenter? Is there more space for a carpenter? There we go. So we'll max that out. We gotta make sure we max out these 
all industries. Like, we can get another forager. Here we go. We got another villager showing up. We're still trying to build this church, which is uh, taking a little while. We'll go ahead and speed up the process. And, see, we could expand, right? We could expand. We could build more industry here. We don't even have a forester yet. <laughs> Oh, we need to do that. I completely forgot about the forester. I guess the new guy can be the forester. I gotta keep up with these jobs. Because uh, we are running out of trees. And you know what? Let me re reforestation. This is where I want you to plant more trees again. There you go. Okay. So once we have that new villager, which I think we just got him. So we can go ahead and assign him to a, let's see, a forester. Uh, what's, can't find a place to work. Uh oh, is this maxed out, is that why? Ooh, that's why, okay, we're gonna change you to a forager. Because I think this was maxed out. This saw, this lumber camp. Only three people can work there and I guess we had four. Yeah, we're good now. Okay. So it's starting to look like a town, guys. It's looking pretty nice. Still waiting on the church to be built. That should put our happiness way up. Oh, I forgot. We're going to need uh, fish. So how do we do this again? Let's change this to fish. Uh, let's go to trade where he's selling fish for 10 so we want 20 fish okay 20 fish so hopefully that's working out because he's buying our <laughs> he's buying our berries you know, he's, he's buying our food. The trader, that is. Oh, nice. Two people are wanting to join. Excellent. We need more workers, honestly. Our church is almost done. Look how beautiful that is. Look how nice that is. Alright, we have 51 days to get 20 fish. Here comes the trader. He's, okay, good. He dropped off some some tools. And he dropped off 20 fish. Okay, hold on. Let's slow it down. And let's complete this quest. There we go. We delivered the fish. So, we're going to go ahead and stop buying fish. As it's kind of hurting us. Just stop. Set this back to zero. Nice, right, so we have a new villager. Oof. Our trade is hurting us a lot. Um, and not helping us a lot. So, new villager. We got two new villagers. What do we need? Who needs... What industry needs workers? That's maxed out. That's maxed out. Okay. Um, I guess we can get more transporters. We'll do that and we'll get another transporter for here. Just for them to do something. The church is almost complete. And our economy is still... Still tanking a little bit. But that's okay. Because we stopped buying fish for the king. And I think we maxed out on, is 50 the max? Yeah, to, so we should probably put, let's see, that's for food. Maybe we'll put planks in here so they can start storing planks and producing more. There we go. All the planks are gone. Oh, because they're transporting them. 
Okay, there they go. There goes the transporter. I am working. I am on, I am on transport mandate. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Stock maximum. Nice. Okay. So I'm trying to I'm trying to relearn a little bit of how this game works. Um, always give me advice. I'm always open to advice, guys. Of course. Uh, we have Pierre over here. Who's? Do we need to tell him? Uh, I don't care. Let's plant some oak trees. Where is Pierre? Is he working? You just sitting there, Pierre? I'm on free time. You shouldn't be. Hold on. Let's make sure he's... You should be, like... Planting more trees, dude. Okay. Promotion available. There we go. So we can promote one of our builders. Or, okay, so I think I'm going to promote Carl. It's going to cost 50 gold. So, here we go. Promote your first newcomers. Oh, promote the commoner. So, I don't know how many serfs we need. So it's, the the status list goes from newcomer, serf, commoner, to citizen. Okay. Well, what happens if I promote too many? And I can even promote some of these guys to commoner. You know what, I'm gonna look up the ratio. Okay, so I, I did some research and it seems that um, you wanna have five serfs for one commoner. So I don't know if we should promote these guys. Like, I, I don't know if like, so we do it by status. Oh, sheep farm, weaver hut, tailor workshop. Okay, perfect. No quest. Alright. Well, maybe we should just promote them. We promote all. Oof. Okay. We won't promote anyone to a commoner yet. The splendor of your village has unlocked new tiers of unlockables. Great. We can get decorative bush, fence, and wooden gate. Okay. Cool. We'll get to that later. Um, it's the church is almost complete Happiness is going up Oh my goodness, so this is where things get really interesting Where we have all kinds of new oh a dairy farm a cheese maker Okay, well, let's take this slow We definitely want to get some wheat farms and the wheat farm let's See and then we need a windmill and then a bakery so I think what we're gonna do, let's start with one industry at a time. We'll get a wheat farm, then build the windmill, and then the bakery. And make sure we set up that properly, and then we can look at other industries, like coal, iron smelting, then blacksmith. Okay. But let, before we do that, Let's do some decorating, shall we? So, this is our beautiful town. We can do a nice wooden gate. Can we build it? Oh no. Let's uh let's build a gate right here. And then we can we can build some walls. You know, we'll spend we'll spend some time decorating. Let's see a fence. Sheep, sheep statue. Here, we'll build the fence here. Let's 
and then we'll keep building. Is there a way to like build more? I guess we'd have to do this one at a time. All right, well, is there like a faster way to do this? Like a hotkey? So we'll build the fence all the way to this tree line for now. If there is a better way, let's see. I'm looking at shift click, place building part, let's see. Shift left click, I see. Is there a way to... There's gotta be a way to like copy paste or something. Oh, we don't have enough tools. I've been wasting tools this whole time. <laughs> That's okay. Our economy's doing well. So we could up the amount of tools that we can buy. So we'll up that to 10 tools. We'll sell more berries to 20, because we're doing pretty good with berries. Don't want to sell too many. Okay, we'll leave that for now. Oh, the church has noticed your dedication to God and thus holds you at a higher regard. Hell yeah. Because our, our church has been complete. Look at that. This is where the people can go and worship. All right. Uh, well, I guess we'll conclude today's episode as we wait for more uh, tools as I didn't realize I was wasting tools as I was building this fence, but we're gonna put a fence through here and here. It'll be a nice little gate gateway um, to our village. Also, guys, check it out. Got some new trees along the way. That's good, the forester's doing good. And we're also, the residential area is booming. And yeah, that's gonna be it for the beginning of Apollonia. As we continue to grow, we are going to look into building some new industries like making cheese, maybe we could sell it, um, you know, making bread, that's always a good place to start. But this has been a great start to Apollonia. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a nice little slow, uh, just kind of go through the village as if we were a villager to close out this video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time on the uh, on the battlefield.